Welcome back video design students. In this video we're going to add the b-roll to our sequence. So let's go to our project bin here and use the back a level button here and go to the video clips and I want you to double click on the track MVP video and that brings it up in what's called the source monitor and here we're going to um, practice what's called uh, three-point editing. We're going to actually select what we want out of this clip in here and then drag it down to our timeline and put it where we want. So let's zoom out a little bit so we can see the entire announcer sequence. And what we're going to want to do is showcase different parts of this clip when he mentions people's names. In order to do that, you're going to have to review the original video to see who he's talking about because we really don't know. So the first person he mentions is this person here, right here. So this is the first little piece we want. All right. And then we want a clip of her getting up on the podium. And then we want a clip of the whole group right after that. And then a clip of these two girls. And then back to him. So we need this clip, this clip, this clip, and that clip. And we need to start doing that when he says, MVP was, Renee's was, when he says was, all right? So let's find that spot. Use your time slider, use your J, K, and L keys. Track on the campus of North Carolina a &T. We had some great performances today. First, the 1A women's MVP was. Right where he says was. And we're gonna use our arrow keys to go back a frame. <laughs> Whoop. I went back to the beginning. I hate when I do that. I do that all the time. Here we go. The 1A women's MVP was. So when he says was, somewhere in there, we're going to put that first clip. So come over to the source monitor and use the time slider here and drag it forward and find that clip right there. That's the very beginning part of the video. So this is an easy one. So what we need to do is define what piece of this video we want. To do that, we're going to use in and out points. And here's where we set them right here, in and out. So we're going to mark in here. Then we're going to move forward. And I think we don't need all of that hugging. So we're just going to move forward to right where this woman starts to walk into the frame. And we're going to set an out point by clicking this button. Now there are keyboard shortcuts for that. I and O. And we'll do that next time. But we don't need the audio. To get both the audio and video, you drag from here. We don't need the audio. We just need the video. So we're going to click on the little film strip and drag that and put it right where our time slider is right here. And this is the result we get. Now remember, these clips need to be enlarged. So we're going to select that clip and use the effect controls and adjust the scale. We're not animating it, we're just adjusting it till it fills the frame. And this is what we have. Women's MVP was Renesia Collins. Of All right, now let's look at the original video we're trying to reproduce here and see what happens. Renesia Collins of Monroe High School. She won the 100 meter hurdle. Okay, so we did get the whole hug. So we need that hug. To get that hug, we don't need to go back to the source monitor. We just need to zoom in a little bit, move our time slider out of the way, and then click and drag. And you can see that we're actually adjusting how much of that we want. See? It tells us exactly where we are. So we want this whole thing here. And then the next clip we want, we want to get to the last frame of this one. Meter hurdle. The 200 and. And this is where she's getting her award. So we want to get to the last frame of that. Use your arrow keys. Right here. And we're going to go back to the source monitor. We can do that by clicking the source tab here. 
and we're going to use our J, K, and L keys in the source monitor as long as you have it selected. See, it's highlighted in blue. We can use that. So we don't need her walking up to the podium so much. We can just get this piece where she's standing on the, she's moving up to the podium. And I'm going to set my eye point. See that clears the previous eye point, the end point. I'm going to move forward. And we can set the out point. Now we can adjust this in a minute when we're down in the timeline. Remember to click the film strip and drag that down and snap it into place and scale it up but let's scale it up yeah scale it up select it go to the effect controls tab scale it up until it fills the frame and this is what we have of Monroe High School she won the 100 meter hurdles the 200 and the 400 and she also anchored the 4 by 200 meter relay team and she led her team to a state championship the co-MVP Okay, now, <clears throat> we need to put that group shot in here somewhere and let's check the original to see where that needs to be the 200 and the 400 and she also anchored the 4 by 200 meter relay team and she led her and she and she that's where it needs to switch 200 meter relay team and she right here so we need to shorten that back to here and then we're going to look for that group shot Go back to the source monitor and find that group shot. I'm just going to click and drag my time slider. This is the group shot. So we set an end point. Move forward. Actually, I think maybe we should have the coach. I don't know. We need a certain amount of this. So I'm just going to grab the whole thing and adjust it, setting the out point, and pull it down in here and put it right there. And then scale it up until it fills the frame. I don't think I want this part at the beginning when, when the other coach is not there. I think I want to pull that in and see how that looks. And she led her team to a state championship. The co-MVP. Okay, I'm going to pull that in just a little bit more right here. Let's check the original. Her team to a state championship. The co-MVP, Malia Ellis. Okay, right after he finishes co-MVP, we need to have this clip pop up. So, the co-MVP. State championship. The co-MVP. Somewhere in this general area. I'm going to drag that back to the time slider. And we're going to go back to the source monitor and go back to the clip of the two girls standing together, which is this one. Don't want that little zoom piece. Set an endpoint by pushing I on your keyboard. After they break up, we don't want that. Set an out point, drag the film strip, video only, down to this part. The co MVP, Malia, and adjust the scale. Ellington. She won the 800, the mile, and the two mile. And she runs for. And we need to cover up this part here for sure. So let's check the original and see how they did that. Ellington. She won the 800, the mile, and the two mile. And she runs for community school. Okay. So all of this needs to be moving forward here. And she runs for us when we need to come back. And she runs for right after this. Runs for for community. Well, let's check it again. The mile and the two mile, and she runs for community school of. 
runs for she runs she runs so we can we can come back to this right here so i'm going to move that forward and move this forward and move this forward i'm just going to move everything forward a little bit and we'll see what that looks like P was Renesia Collins of Monroe High School. She won the 100 meter hurdles, the 200 and the 400, and she also <laughs> by rolling champion. your mouse. The co-MVP Malia Ellis. She won the 800, the mile, and the two mile, and she runs for Community School of Davidson, and they finished second. We're gonna let him talk a little bit more. I know, and let's check and see when when we Davidson, go to the next clip. And they finished second. On the boys' side, we had Trentavious Friday. That's right, folks. This is a guy you're going to. This is a guy. Trentavious Friday. So let's let's push the L School of Davidson, and they finished second. On the boys' side, we had Trentavious Friday. That's right, folks. This is a guy you're going to want. That's right, folks. This is a guy. This is a guy. So. Let's find Gentavious Friday. Go back to the source monitor. Uh, let's see which clip they used. That's him getting up on the podium. In a second. On the boy's side, we had Trentavious Friday. That's right, folks. This is a guy you're going to... Folks, this is a guy... Folks, this is a guy... Right in here. So let's go back to the source monitor and find where he is getting up on the podium, which is right here. And we can just start like right there. And there's a principle in editing called cutting on the action. And we want to cut when something is happening. We don't want to wait for pauses in the action. Just going to move forward. Give him a chance to maybe wave or something. Set an out point by pushing O on the keyboard and dragging this out. Now let's check the original. I'm going to want to watch because he's only a junior. He was from Cherryville High School. He, he is from Cherryville High School. The guy you're going to want to watch because he's only a junior. He was from Cherryville High School. So somewhere in here we're going to want to switch. So let's select this clip. Go back to the effects controls. Scale up till it fills. And pull this back. Junior. He was from Cherryville High School. I think I want to give him a little bit of a chance to look up and smile, though. He was from Cherryville High School. He was from Cherryville High School. Yeah. He's from Cherryville High School. All right, so now we click to a highlight of him. So let's go back to the source monitor and find when he's running down the track which is here. Now we want to get him when he's sort of round in that curve there. All right, we don't want to show the whole thing. It's really exciting when he starts to round the curve here, so that's what we want. Right in here. So we're going to find that point and set an end point by pushing I on the keyboard. Then we're going to move forward to when he crosses the finish line. Right here, set an out point. And then we're going to move our timeline forward a little bit. And grab the film strip and pull that clip down. And select it. Move the time slider forward so we can see it. Go to the Effect Controls tab and scale it up so it fills the frame. And let's see what that looks like. A junior. He was from Cherryville High School. He not only won the 100, the 200, and the 400, but he set new state records in each one of them. So again, thank you for watching Friday Night Rivalries. Tune in for the next. Tune in for the next show. The three eight championships. Tune in for the next watching Friday night robberies. Tune in for the next show. I think we need to when he says thank you, we need to be done. So let's see where that is. In each one of them. So here is where he begins to say thank you. So I think we need to adjust this back some and move it forward so that we're done around this time. So again, thank you for watching Friday Night Robberies. Tune in for the next show, the 3A State Championships. Okay, now after this, we need to start the music swelling up 
and uh, we need to start the closing sequence. And we will do that when we return in the next video. And I'll see you then.